Hello Aquarius, love reading. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Um, you can subscribe by just clicking on the red subscribe button right at the bottom left of the screen. If this reading does not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising, and Venus sign. So we have some earth energy here, which is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, we have, let me bring these down a little bit so you can see. We have um, cups here, which can be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We do have some uh, air signs here, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have some fire here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Okay, Aquarius, so underlining energy of the deck is going to be the Ten of Wands. So this is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, you're tired, Aquarius. You're tired. You have a lot going on. Um, I feel like in this relationship uh, that you're in uh, with your person that you're the one carrying most of the weight and you're really tired of it. You're really tired of it. Um, so I do he see here that we have the, Pente the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're, I mean, this is an earth sign. Okay. So this is Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus energy, um, but it can be Virgo or Leo energy also. I feel like this is you, Aquarius. Uh, this is a very responsible person with money. Um, and to clarify this card, we have the Seven of Swords, and I feel like you feel like, you know, maybe you're the one who's supporting everything in your household, and you feel like you're being robbed. You feel like someone's stealing from you. You feel like it's too much work. You're really starting to feel tired, Aquarius. You're feeling tired. Um, now again, this can be vice versa. This could be how your person is feeling. Um, but being that, you know, the underlining energy of the reading here is the Ten of Wands, I feel like it's you, Aquarius. Um, so here we have the Six of Cups, which could be a Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Pisces energy. And I feel like um, you're missing an X here. I feel like, I mean, I don't see any threes but this can be this could definitely be missing an x um it could also be uh visiting friends and family members far away okay but being that it's clarified by the death card i feel like you are definitely missing an x uh, aquarius and that you're looking for change you're looking for for something to change transition new beginnings um you're you're really unhappy with where you are right now now, here we have, um, here we have the Justice card with the Fool, okay? So, Justice card means that you're going to get your just reward, even though you are going through a hard time right now, even though you feel like someone is taking from you, okay? It's, it's clarified by the Fool. So, what this is telling me is that if you go ahead and take a risk, and look for these new changes that you're going to be treated fairly, Aquarius. Um, you know, you may have a little bit of fear about making this move, but you will be treated fairly, okay? Because you're definitely not, you know, happy with where you are right now. That's a given, okay? So here we have the King of Pentacles, okay? So the King of Pentacles can be an Aries sign, or it could be a Taurus sign, but this king is so stubborn. He's just sitting on his throne looking smug. I mean, he is just, um, you know, sitting there just knowing that everything is running the way he would. It's either his way or the highway type of king, okay? And this is clarified by the Knight of Wands. Now, let's keep in mind that Wands is... Um, is you know communication and travel okay so 
Aquarius, I mean, this king might be you, okay? You might be going through a situation where, you know, the king of pentacles is no joke. Like, he wants everything his way. Everything has to be about him. Everything has to be running, you know, according to his will. And if you're the one putting in all the work here, I mean, he's a very... I don't want to say selfish, but, you know, everything does have to revolve around him, okay? So, I mean, if you're the one putting in all the work here, that's not what you're used to. You don't, you don't like that, okay? Especially if you're missing uh, an ex that was a water sign, and water signs are generally very caring, giving, emotional people. So, I mean, if you're dealing with someone that's taking from you, which that is how you feel, or, again, this can be vice versa, it can be your person, okay? Um, you know, you're wanting to communicate and travel, uh, communicate towards this ex. You want new beginnings and you want change in your life, okay? You want to be treated like this king of pentacles here. You want to be treated like a king. You don't want to be the one doing all the work and, and giving your all. And obviously this person isn't giving much back. They're not really contributing to the relationship. So here we have the knight of pentacles clarified by the two of wands okay now the two of wands as you can see this is someone looking out on the horizon okay uh, again this is communication and travel so we have earth here which can be capricorn virgo taurus energy and we have wands which could be a fire sign it could be a virgo leo i'm sorry leo aries um or sagittarius energy now you see this person is looking out uh, out you know into the, the horizon here they have the world in their hand and you know they want to move towards something they want to move towards something. They're they're missing somebody that's far away. It's definitely somebody that they're not close to. Whatever is on their mind is somebody that they're not close to, and um, you know they're they're thinking about that person. They're definitely thinking about it because we have an ex here, and we have you in a current state of being very tired. You're very tired of your situation. So here we have the Four of Wands, which can represent uh, a soulmate energy, okay? And of course, it is clarified by the X, okay? I think you feel, uh, you know, Aquarius, that this X that you had in your life could have been your soulmate, and um, you let it go, and now you're stuck in a situation that you are really not happy in, okay? You let it go. Yeah. All right, so here we have the chariot. The cha it's just funny because you have the chariot here, you have the justice card here, and then you have the fool here, and then you have wish fulfillment, okay? So you have move forward, you're going to be treated fairly if you do, take the risk, and you're going to have the wish fulfillment, okay? You're going to have, we're going to get to that in a moment, but it's just beautiful to see it play out. So the chariot card is telling you to move forward move forward you will have justice if you move forward things will end uh, you know turn out positively for you if you move forward you will be treated fairly if you were treated unfairly before or if you're moving forward if you're the one moving forward towards this person towards this ex because the way the cards are reading here is he's on a horse here going towards the X. So it might be, you know what I'm saying, either someone's coming, coming towards you, Aquarius, or you're coming towards somebody else. But I mean, again, if we look at, at the way things play here, here you, in this relationship, you're being treated as a knight, okay? In your current relationship, you're being treated as a knight. But you're looking at your ex and, and you wanna to move towards the ex, you're gonna be treated fairly, you're gonna offer this apology, or they're gonna offer an apology to you and be treated fairly, and you're gonna get your king status back. Okay, you're gonna get your king status back. Even here, I mean, if we read this, the, the you know the storyline here, you feel like you're being robbed. You want change. You want to take a risk, and you want to go. You want to offer. You, you, this is the Knight of Wands. You want to offer communication. You want to reach out to this person, or this person wants to reach out to you. Okay. Now we have manifestation. Okay, you are manifesting what you want. Aquarius. You're, th this is ambition and manifestation. You want your king status back. This ex treated you like a king. You were the king of your household. Whatever it was that you wanted, you got. They did everything they could to make you happy, okay? And you are manifesting this back in your life. You want to be treated that way again. You definitely didn't feel like this when you were with the ex because this is your current energy right now and you're tired. You're holding a whole load on your back and you are exhausted, my friend. And again, this can be vice versa because this could be how your, you know, partner feels, your, your person feels about you, all right? 
Now, to clarify, the Seven of Swords is the Two of Pentacles, okay? So again, this can mean financial instability up and down, but being that this is a love reading, I feel like with you and this person, you feel like they're taking from you, and it's very up and down. One minute things are good, one minute things are really bad. One minute things are good, and it's this never-ending cycle. You see how the eight is infinite? So one minute things are good, one minute things are bad. One minute things are good, and you're, you're just feeling very like taken advantage of and tired of the situation, all right? Now, death is clarified by the uh, king of swords here, okay? So the king of swords um, is a very upright king. He does not, he's not an emotional king. He's very, very seductive, okay? But ultimately, he does think with his mind, okay? So what I feel this is telling me is if you want the change in your life, you're going to have to cut your emotions out and think with your mind, okay? Is this good for me? Is all this juggling up and down good for me? Is the fact that I feel like I'm being taken advantage of good for me? Is me holding all this weight on my back good for me, okay? So this king is like, you have to picture him. See how he's got his armor here? He's like a knight. Like, you know, that's how he succeeds. He's very strategic. He's like, he's like an army soldier, a warrior. And that's how, you know, he's out to win a battle with his life. And he wants to get here. This is his goal. This is his victory. He wants to feel like this. He doesn't want to feel like he's holding all this burden. Okay. Now the full card, which is new beginnings, and risk. Again, we have death and the full card next to each other, which is both new beginnings, change, okay? So the full card is clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is one of the most beautiful cards that you can possibly have here, okay? I mean, you've got family, you've got children, you've got a home by the water, you've got your blessings raining down from the sky, you know, I mean, and this is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, okay? So, I mean, I, I'm just, you know, Aquarius, either you or an ex is feeling this way. I mean, I, again, I really think it's you, Aquarius, because this is your energy. You're tired, Aquarius, okay? Um, you're really tired. Now, here we have the Knight of Wands, okay, which, again, is a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy, okay? And he is being, um, and he is being clarified by the Queen of Wands, okay, again, another fire sign, okay, so as you could see, like, you know, he's, they're looking at each other, they're looking at each other, okay, he wants to communicate to her, and this is somebody who is, she is a no-nonsense person, okay, she, she works on her career, um, the Queen of Wands can be somebody who's much younger, with a lot of wisdom, or a woman who's older, okay, and this is someone who knows how to, you know, she knows how to love and communicate with the people around her, but she really, she's on high alert. She stands her ground. She stands by her man. And she will definitely is a type that'll make him feel like a king. You know, she will work. This is a working queen. This is a queen that will work by your side. She's not the type of queen that is going to leave, you know, her king to do this, okay? So, I mean, again, roles can be vice versa. You know, the cards aren't male or female. But the point here is, Aquarius, I feel that... You know, in your current state, your person is not helping you the way you need help, okay? You're very overburdened. You're, you're, you're carrying everything on your back. And maybe this ex um, helped you more. You know what I'm saying? That it was more of an equal a give and take. You know, I mean, they definitely made you feel like this. And this is what you're manifesting again. This is what you want back in your... This is what you're praying for again, Aquarius, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify a little bit here with the Romance Angels. What do we have... For Aquarius, 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 June. Calling in your soulmate. This could be the one and playfulness, okay? And the underlining energy is separation. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, Aquarius. Yeah, I see a separation here. You're tired, Aquarius. You're really tired. You've had enough of carrying the burden on your own. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualization, vis, excuse me, visualizations help bring you together. So calling in your soulmate, what did I say, Aquarius? 
you're manifesting, you're praying, you want this kingly status back. Okay, you want the queen that stood by your side and worked with you and helped you in life. You want her back or they want you back again. It can be vice versa. This could be the one. Okay, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. There you go. There's your ex, Aquarius. There's your ex. This is somebody that you already knew, that you already had love with and somebody that you want wish fulfillment with. Okay, you feel like this was your soulmate, 1111, the soulmate card, okay? And you want to move towards them. And you know how you're going to get them back, Aquarius? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to be fun and shine. Okay, playfulness. Playfulness, Aquarius. So... That is your reading. Again, this could be you, Aquarius, or it could be, you know, your ex going through this. But I really, with this card, that's your energy, Aquarius. So I feel like that's how you're feeding, feeling. So that is your reading, your love reading. Again, if this resonates with you, uh, please be sure to like and just click on the red subscribe button on the bottom left-hand side. Have a wonderful day. Take care.